Good morning friends. I am Dr. Sharad Kumar from Rajeshwari Farm. From last few days we had very good rains in the farm and we had made lot of water conservative measures. All those are yielding excellent results now. We had constructed hundreds of water trenches and hundreds of water ponds and all the ponds and trenches are full. You can see this is a nozzle of pond. You can see the water collected from the rain and is full and all the water which would have run off if these ponds were not to be there. It is collected in these ponds and we are growing azola in the ponds. You can see even the water has gone below the tarpaul also. You can see the excellent azola growing. And this water, it directly it percolates and it feeds the coconut trees around the pond. This is a multi-purpose azola pond filled with rain water. You can see all the lines of azola ponds are filled with rain water. So this is an excellent method of rainwater harvesting as well as growing azola and this water is going to remain for longer time. Once it dries, dries up, we are going to fill it with water from the bore wells. You can see another line of azola ponds. We have not yet filled with azola. Entire area is filled with rainwater. You can see the rain water collected in the tarpaulin layer pond and this is going to serve as an excellent source of water for the trees as well as for the growing the azola. Friends here you can see another pond filled with rain water. We have not yet put the tarpaulin, we have just put the coconut leaves waste and later on we are going to put a layer of tarpaulin so that it serves as a multi-purpose pond that is farm pond, agricultural pond as well as for growing the azola. The water which would have drained off if this pit were not to be there is stored. Almost several hours have passed after the rain has stopped but still you can see the water collected in the pond and these coconut leaves they are going to disintegrate biologically and form an excellent menu for the coconut trees. Friends you can see another beautiful azola pond filled with rain water you can see the water and also you can see azola we have put and it is growing. It is a multi-purpose pond. Serves as water storage. Serves as for growing the azola. And also the water beneath the tarpaulin. It acts as a source of water for the surrounding plants. And also we have put waste green leaves and other material below the tarpaulin. They all disintegrate and form an excellent compost. This water would have drained off from our field if we had not put this multi-purpose pond. Friends, we had dug hundreds of trenches, each of three feet width, three feet depth, and two feet width, and you can see all the trenches filled with rain water. This is an excellent method for conservating the water. It uh, prevents soil erosion and this water is going to percolate into the roots of the coconut trees and surrounding plants. Acts as an excellent source of water conservation and also what all the vegetable waste leaves which we have put in the trenches that is going to disintegrate and form an excellent menu 
that is organic manure you can see the water 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 and water everywhere not a drop of water going out of our farm you can see the water trench completely filled with water is an excellent method of rain water harvesting friends you can see another water trench which is 3 feet wide 4 feet depth and about 20 feet in length completely filled with rain water and this water would have drained off our farm if we had not put this trench this trench is at the border of our farm all the water which has come from all the areas it gets filled in this trench and no water goes out of it and also it uh, prevents soil erosion acts as an excellent source of uh, water and also we have put plant waste material into the trench that disintegrates and forms the compost friends you can see one more big water trench which we have dug at the border for farm and also we have put all the plant material waste material cut tree ends and other branches and that disintegrates in the water forms an excellent manure organic manure you can see the water stored in the trench it is a very good method of conservating the water and also this stops the soil erosion friends this is taripura pond completely filled with water you can see the rain water got collected in the tank the tank is overflowing you can see the bund and the water above the bund also and this is the catchment area of the pond filled with lot of rain water is a beautiful pond you can see the water everywhere we had excellent rain this year and this water will remain here for several months recharging all the bore wells surrounding the pond is the duty of the government jilla panchayat taluk panchayat and gram panchayat to preserve this pond friends this is an another huge farm pond completely filled with rain water it is about 80 feet into 80 feet and depth is about 12 feet more than 20 lakhs liter water is stored in this pond we have fish also in this pond and also we have growing azolla also you can see so much water is collected rain water is collected and this serves for about 15 days for our farm for 15 days this can feed the entire farm we need not depend upon the ground water or the borehole water we have solar pumps submerged solar pumps and this solar pumps will pump out the water into the our farm we have 20 acres farm and entire 20 acres can be fed with this water and we need not depend upon the bore wells and other source of water you can see you can see the water overflowing also and you can see the another fish pond with azolla filled with rain water so friends i request all the farmers to make arrangements for conservation of the water whenever rain comes the best way is to collect the rain water so that that 
serves dual purpose one it stops the soil erosion and secondly for another 15 days or one month you need not use the borewell water or other source of water so much water will be preserved in the ground water because you don't draw the ground water for another one or two months so one month rain must be equal to two months rain by soil or by water conservation methods that means if we get say about 40 to say 50 cm rain in the south karnataka uh, region dry region like mysore mandya tumkur and bangalore districts the by conservating the water we can multiply that water into two times that is 80 cm water which is equivalent to malnad area so you can convert the dry land into Malnad region by taking several methods of water conservation. One good dry in a in year that will be enough for the groundwater getting recharged so that for the entire year we get the borewell water fully recharged. See the multi-purpose fish pond, farm pond and as well a pond completely filled with rainwater you can see the fish swimming there 